I feel that if we all, you know, suppose that asteroid slammed into the earth and, and we all died and, and somehow in, in this in this metaphor, we went to the pearly gates of heaven and St. Peter was there, you know, letting us in. And we said, oh, you know, I'm sorry, like, you know, just I, we try, really tried on this asteroid thing and maybe we should have been working on it before we saw it. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, ultimately we felt that there was nothing we could do. Mm -hmm. I think that, that, that you'd get somewhat of a sympathetic hearing. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas if instead you turn up and you say, so we built AI that we knew that we didn't know how to control, despite the fact that, yes, admittedly, a number of Nobel Prize winners in AI, I think all of the Nobel Prize winners in AI perhaps, have warned that it could kill everyone. Uh, <laughs> a whole lot of people warned, you know, warned this, really uh, something like half of the most senior people uh, in AI have directly warned that this could cause human extinction. But we had to build it. Uh, and so, you know, we built it and it turns out it was difficult to align it and uh, so we all died. I feel that you would get a much less sympathetic <laughs> thing. Uh, you know, be like, well, hang on. You lost me at the step where you said we had to build it. Uh, why did you build it if you thought it would kill you all? And I feel that some kind of the responses that you would give would be would feel wanting. Yes, uh, and you know, maybe they'd be like, oh well, I thought that if I didn't do it, they would do it. And so who did it? Well, where I did it. And, uh, and so you built the thing that killed everyone. Yes, uh, but yeah, I felt I really like. I yeah. just think that you would have trouble explaining yourself. Uh, and I think that I feel like we should hold ourselves um, to a higher standard, not just like technology made me do it or the technological landscape made me do it or the fact I'm China in a race. China made me do it. China <laughs> made me do it, despite the fact that they're not actually, didn't start the race. <laughs> um, the US started the race, you know, because maybe China would have started a race. <laughs> um, I, I, you know, I feel like it's a bit like explaining to the teacher about this fight that you started by punching some kid in the face because you're claiming that they would have punched you if you didn't punch them or something. It just it doesn't really cut it. Well, there are worlds that do seem to be available to us where both, say, the US and China decide not to race for this thing. Um, I, I think that given the actual evidence we have, I don't think it's in the US's interest um, uh, to... Uh, to push towards AI or in China's interest. I think it's in both their interests uh, to not do it. Um, and if so, that's not a prisoner's dilemma. That's just a case <laughs> where... <laughs> cooperation would be relatively... Where cooperation is actually quite easy because it's mm. not in anyone's interest to defect. Um, and I think that the game, that could well be the game, you know, in terms of game theory. Mm.